the following announcement is from the Hacker Learn. We all learn from our mistakes. But when we don't learn, that's not evolution. It's a degrading of the universe. And on this Halloween night, you will learn the hacker. And if you don't believe me, <laughs> run! <laughs> Guys, my name is Coach Char Dongster Bomb, but built for theme park backside entertainment, and welcome to this video. Now, today we're going to talk about the official Scarefest lineup announcement for 2020. The announcement has come about. We know what's happening for Scarefest this year, it's going ahead, but not only that, they've also confirmed Oktoberfest is still going ahead this year, um, towards the end of September. And Scarefest lineup has been announced, so we're going to talk about the brand new mazes because this is the focus of this video. We'll probably do a separate video for Oktoberfests, you know, confirming and things like that. Uh, but we're going to actually, in this video, talk about Scarefest, what's coming back, new mazes. Cause we've got two new things for 2020. We're going to talk about the spine tingling family fun. We're going to sp speak about the Halloween horror terror. Uh, for the thrill seekers and also speak about some other stuff that's going on at Scarefest as well So before we get started make sure you like comment subscribe click the notification bell so you never miss YouTube video And before we get started massive shout outs goes to Mr. Giga big shout out to you and also to Falco Flair big shout out to you Let's get into this video and let's talk about Alton Tower Scarefest 2020 so for the scare mazes returning this year is the attic terror of the towers around here people talk of the governess how she haunted by the death of her young charges how she wants revenge and how she'll take it by seizing the spirits of living in retribution they say her ghost haunts the attic that's where you're headed dare you risk your immortal soul so that is of course the brand new maze for last year that is returning also returning is the Altonville Mine Tours. Now this was first introduced uh, way back in 2016. It replaced the old Haunting of Molly Crow attraction. This is the fifth year of Altonville Mine Tours as it came in in 2016. And basically the description reads, the skin snatchers we call them, outcasts, their whole family, rumours they lived in that old mine. It's deep and dark and damp inside gives you the proper shivers. Just recently some fool reopened it for tours. Be careful, they say those skin snatches have secret too horrifying for words. Beauty's only skin deep, remember that. Now also returning from last year is Darkest Depths, where you can enjoy some extra spooky swashbuckling aboard the mutiny and notorious spine chingling ghost ship. You'll truly earn your golden piece of eight by venturing into the darkest depths, avoiding the hazardous calls of the treacherous sirens, dodging the swords of terrifying ghoulish pirate mutineers, and coming face to face with the Kraken, the legendary monster of the sea. So of course, darkest depths is suitable for guests aged 10 plus, as is the Alton Towers dungeons, where Scarefest descends on the towers, enter the Alton Towers dungeon for a little less laughing and a lot more screaming. Will you be found guilty by the Bishop of Stafford, surviving a visit to the Plague Doctor and make it out of the Witch of Burslem's cottage? Enter the Alton Towers dungeon at this Halloween as we celebrate the most hideous, horrible time of year with your delightful peasant screams, if you dare. Now that is a big, 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 big statement from the dungeon. Now as well as the dungeon and as well as the attic, Olmville Mine Tours and of course uh, Darkest Depths, we have a brand new outdoor maze as our first new attraction for this year, and that is Freak Show Toxic Junkyard. Now, this is an outdoor maze. Freak Show Toxic Junkyard will invite the foolhardly to venture into the Freak Show hidden in to discover 
uh, the secret of the Psycho Clown's next big show. So the Freak Show Toxic Junkyard will be coming. Now, Freak Show has an interesting history. It started off as a scare zone, like a Universal Halloween Horror Nights type scare zone uh, on platforms. It was located in the pathway between the Hospitality Suite, which is next to Spinball Wizard, and up to X Sector's, or near X Sector's entrance. So it was around that pathway between the Adventureland section and X Sector's entrance. So... You know, it was recommended for 12 plus. It lasted between 2016 and 2017, with a scare rating officially of three pumpkins from Towers Times. Uh, so this was like, you know, different platforms. Like I said, Halloween Horror Night style scare zone, where you had these like platforms, and you'd have these actors and actresses playing things like the clowns, the bearded lady, um, the knife thrower, the ringmaster, and you'd have these different platforms, and you'd have these actors doing like these different things, and you'd have other clown actors roaming around you. It's very Halloween Horror Nights style. And um, yeah, it was a definitely a fun experience for those who visited. And you know, this is gonna be located where those containers are, um, on the, the lawn next to the games bunker. That's where it's gonna be. Uh, and I'll speak about a maze that's not coming back uh, after this little bit. But talking about spectacular family fun, so as well as all the mazes and the dungeon being ramped up for Halloween this year, we've got the Alton Ancestors. Hearing that scraping sound, it's the gravestones being moved. The Alton Ancestors are back from the dead and in their favourite haunts. Standing still is not an option to celebrate Halloween by learning their dance moves and joining in. So it's very, very clear that this could be, again, the same principle as Alton Ancestors last year the last season and previous seasons where they do the flash mob dance on Tower Street and then they move down to Gloomy Wood or in a different area of the park and do some interaction with the crowds. Uh, I imagine with the social distancing that may be quite tough this year but I'm interested to see how the ancestors pull it off this year. Freaky Fun Zone is also returning, ready to get spookalicious. Join our five super freaky Halloween characters in their mind-boggling multicolor playground of the front lawns. Enjoy spooktacular shows, meet and greets, photo opportunities and more. Join Patch's Halloween party, it's bigger and better than ever, and hear ghostly tales from Spooky Skelvin. Then help Gretel make her magic spells and discover everything that Phil and Franklin learnt at ghoul school. So much fun, it's scary. So, the Freaky Fun Zone again returns for this year. The characters like Skelvin, Phil, Franklin, um, and obviously Patch. Um, you know, those characters have been synonymous over the years with Alton Tower Scarefest. It's good to see them back again this year. Um, now, of course, CBeebies Land, do not miss out on the Halloween fun. We've got the CBeebies Land Monster Ball back again this year. Dress up in your favourite costume and join the CBeebies characters live in Big Fun Showtime, which is the arena in the CBeebies Land area, as they dance, play games, and learn about spooky things. Featuring Bing, Ubercorn, Peter Rabbit, and many more of your favourite CBeebies friends. So CBeebies Land aren't missing out on the fun just yet. So CBeebies Land coming in with the Monster Ball again this year. And finally for your Halloween fun, we have another brand new addition for this year. It is Garden Lights Walk. Whispering Souls. This scare fest come to Alton Towers Resort and enjoy the gardens as never before and witness them come to life in a whole new spectacular light. So that is the additions and the returns for Scarefest this year. Now let's talk about my thoughts on it. So that is the additions and the returns for Scarefest 2020. Now you may have noticed in the maze category one is missing. Subspecies, the end games, it started in uh, 2015. It came in with the likes of the haunting of Molly Crow. It came back with terror. It came with uh, the returning terror of the towers, what lies beneath. Uh, it came with a lot of different things. Subspecies, after five years of operation, has finally ended. Now, a lot of people are going to be sad about that because it was one of the most extreme mazes to date. However, you know, I, I, I really don't think, you know, it, it just didn't sound like, um, you know, it didn't sound like it was going to come back. Especially with the social distancing rules in place and things like that. Excuse me. Um, but another maze that's not coming back is Project 42. There's no mention of that. Does this mean that Subterra's site will finally get used for a permanent attraction if Project 42 isn't coming back? 
If it's not coming back, I, I, I think we could see some kind of development with Subterra or Forbidden Valley area in that general. Potentially. Potentially. Um, Project 42, that was, you know, introduced uh, just a couple of years ago, so not long for that maze. However, with no mention on the website of it coming back, I mean, that's pretty much certain. Subspecies in Project 42 are not coming back. And to be fair with the social distancing rules, maybe that's the best way forward. Um, I know somebody commented a lot about the maze experiences last season uh, in when I spoke about the new maze with the image from the crates, etc. And I know somebody spoke a lot about that, so... Um, you know, it would have been hard with subspecies, and I think it would have been hard at certain points in the maze with Project 42. So I think Alton Towers are taking no risks, uh, and they're just getting rid of subspecies. It's had its time, it's been through the five year period. I think it's time to move on from subspecies, and you know, this new maze, this freaky, um, this like, you know, freak zone, toxic junkyard thing would be brilliant. Um, and obviously Project 42, does this mean Subterra site is going to get used for a new attraction, a new dark ride in the future, or some kind, or is it going to get completely torn down for some kind of uh, new development? Uh, we'll have to, you know, wait and see on that because I think it's quite convenient that Project 42 has been closed. And you know, usually we would have seen the yellow tent up by now, um, you know, in the sub near the Subterra building. So I think that maybe. That gave us a hint that it may not be coming back. So uh, I think that's going to be an interesting one. But speaking of what is coming back and what's debuting this year. Uh, the Attic Terror of the Towers, Altonville Mine Tours, Darkest Depths. That is all returning. The Alton Towers Dungeon is going to get hyped up for Halloween as well. It's going to be more scary and less laughing uh, from the sounds of the website. Um, we also have the debut of um, Freak Show, Toxic Junk Yard. And, of course, the Garden Lights Walk Whispering Souls. I think that's how it's pronounced. And, you know, these are two brilliant additions. So let's speak first about the new garden experience. So, uh, basically, for those of you uh, who are wondering, I, I did a video, um, you know, just ju uh, in recent months. I did a video about the gardens and about how... You know, it said in an article that something was coming to that area of the park and something was going to happen uh, with that. Um, so, I think it's very, very interesting to see what's going to happen with this. And, you know, I think Garden Lights Walk, Whispering Souls, is going to be a completely different experience to what we first thought. I think it will definitely be interesting. I think that, you know, when it said in that earlier report, the garden's in a whole new light, I think that gave me a bit of clues as to what they could potentially do. Um, so we could see some roaming actors at a safe distance from the public, a social distance from the public, the two meters apart rule. Could be even more than two meters. You know, they might even take way more advantage of that rule than usual. And, you know, just do some on-the-spot jump scares. Like, it could be like, uh, actors and actresses dressed as like statuettes in the garden and they give you jump scares now and then for the families nothing too scary but just you know family related jump scares and you know the fact that it was under spine tingling fun rather than uh, it, it rather it was under the Halloween fun rather than spine tingling terror which is where the mazes come under like the extreme stuff comes under I think this says that this is going to be more of a family attraction so it's something different. It's the first time the gardens have been properly used for a Halloween attraction of some sort. So I'm really excited to see what's going to happen with that. Now, talking about the brand new maze. Freak Show Toxic Junkyard. Now, this is going to be a very interesting one as well. Because, you know, this is going to be located. They're using some of the crates from Subspecies. Uh, those are the ones on the top of the image that I showed you in that video. Uh, a few days ago. Only a few days ago. It's not too long since we found out we're going to get this brand new maze. So, you know, this is going to be a brand new maze located on that games bunker on the road towards the X sector entrance. So, you know, that's one less maze in the towers because Altonville Mine Tours uses the towers a bit. Um, obviously, the Attic Terror of the Towers is in the towers. So, you know, uh, Subspecies was in the towers as well. So that's now two mazes, not three inside the towers or use a bit of the towers. So it kind of makes sense because, of course, the social distancing. And I guess they want to keep mazes as socially distant as possible from each other. It, that includes socially distant queue lines because I think if you have queue lines for different mazes right next to each other then that all even though you're socially distant in your separate queue lines i think it would be very hard to distance the queue lines so 
you know, again, I think it makes sense to remove some species. It's had its time, but also I think for the restrictions in place, I think it would have been very, very hard to operate that mace. Uh, probably same with Project 42 as well. Uh, and I'm a bit surprised they're not going to go with another maze, like a second new maze, to fill the Project 42 lineup. So, but I can kind of see why. I think having one less maze maybe would reduce the crowds in Forbidden Valley, uh, especially with the likes of Nemesis, Galactica, Blade, you know, down in that area. I think to reduce crowds in the upper area and to let the crowds just keep flooding in down, down to the uh, to the behind of Forbidden Valley. I think it kind of makes sense. So talking about Freak Show Toxic Junkyard, obviously Freak Show is an original scare zone uh, in that pathway between the hospitality suite and on the road to X Sector. It was that pathway with the green fencing. So, you know, again, I can see why they don't want to go with a scare zone version of Freak, so, uh, Freak Show because, you know, social distancing. Again, some people might want to not take that route. Maybe people want to go the other route, you know, past Wicker Man and... You know, down that route to get to uh, to X Sector as well. So I think that it makes sense to do it as an outdoor maze. Of course, nothing really much indoors because, of course, social distancing. And um, yeah, I think this is going to be an interesting one. So um, I'm probably expected to see them use some of the props that they use for Freak Show, which ironically is some of the props they use for an old clown maze called Carnival of Screams, if any of you remember that one. Um, and, you know, they use those props, some of them from Carnival of Screams, some from other mazes as well. And they brought this scare zone to life a few years ago. I'm expecting them to probably use some props from there as well. But I'm expecting this to be a bit of a wasteland twist. I think, uh, for those of you who remember a couple of years ago, they did like a, sh a temporary show on the Ripsaw site called Wasteland Bash. I'm expecting it to be a Wasteland Bash take on Freak Show. I think that's what I'm expecting here, especially with it being called Toxic Junkyard as well. So, I think we're expecting like a Wasteland Bash twist on the Freak Show theme. I think that's what we're expecting here, and I'm expecting a lot of jump scares. I'm expecting a lot of uh, actor interaction without touching the guests, without being breaking the two meter rule in social distancing as well so um the fact they're going ahead with this is you know fair play to alton towers they're going for this this year uh so you know with the restrictions in place i'm sure they can deliver a brilliant scarefest event so there we go so that is looking at the official details for scarefest comment down below are you gonna miss subspecies are you excited for the brand new mazes or what are your thoughts on no Project 42? Are we going to see a replacement for that building uh, in 2022 for their brand new attraction for 2022? So comment down below if you think that could be the case. You know, is Project 42 going because we're seeing a brand new attraction for 2022 in that site? Um, obviously, we know that, you know, House of Monsters wasn't coming back for the previous Scarefest. And then we get the announcement of the World of David Williams and the brand new Dark Ride going into that building. Is it the same story with Project 42? Are we going to see a brand new attraction in that building for 2022 as a permanent attraction? Comment down below. Do you have the opinions of that? I mean, I'd love to hear your opinions on that. I reply to every single comment. You know I do. And for now, guys, my name is Coast Shell. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Keep living the coast life. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day. Have an awesome week. Hashtag, who is the hacker?